G'day barbecue lovers, well it's that time of year again and we're going to be cooking the uh, Christmas turkey today. Give you a demo of how to use the kettle style barbie with heat beads briquettes to create the best tasting bird you can possibly hope for. Here are our ingredients for the Christmas turkey stuffing. We've got our chopped onion, some fresh herbs, breadcrumbs, pancetta, Got the red onion to actually sit the turkey on while it's cooking, a bit of garlic, some lemon and salt and pepper. You can see we've put the stuffing in the cavity here and also laid the turkey in the foil tray on a bed of red onion. That will bring flavour up through the turkey while it cooks and also stop it from sticking to the tray and burning. This is a fairly large bird, about four kilos. One of the things to remember with turkey, if you're coming from frozen, it takes a long time to thaw. If you've got an even larger bird, say six kilos, it can take up to two and a half days to defrost in the fridge. So plan well ahead. So we're using the indirect cooking method, which is the way to roast a turkey and roughly 25 beads per side. As you can see in the basket, that's almost to the brim. Works out to about half a four kilo bag. If you're not familiar with how to light your barbecue for the indirect method, I suggest you head over to the barbecue tips section and check that out now, then come back and join us when you're done there. While we're waiting for our beads to completely ash over, I just thought I'd run through some tips about cooking your turkey. Cook time. How long is it going to take to cook your chook? We've got a calculator on the site so that you can work out per kilo how long you'll need to allow. Today we're cooking a four kilo bird that is stuffed. That'll take between two to two and a half hours. It takes longer for the legs to cook than it does for the breast. There are various techniques you can use to make sure that the bird is cooked thoroughly throughout, but the meat is still tender and juicy. Today, we're going to be using the foil wrap method, which will go through at about the one hour mark of the cook time. So to get a fantastically crispy turkey, we're just going to pour a mix of white wine and brandy over the top of the turkey and then put it on to cook. With the turkey in place, we've got the lid on, vents open at the bottom, and open at the top. We're going to give it about an hour and then come back and put the foil wrap on. At this stage, it's important to remember you want to trap as much heat in the kettle as possible. So don't, as, as tempting as it might be, open up that lid to check how things are going. You want to keep a constant heat in there to make sure your cook time is as quick as possible. All right, we're an hour in and time to wrap the breast to make sure that it doesn't dry out. As you can see, it's cooking pretty nicely there, starting to brown up around the breast area, so we're just going to cover that with the foil. Close it up for another hour. We'll come back out with the meat thermometer just to test how things are going. Alright, we've been cooking for about two hours and it's time to test the turkey. We're going to use a standard meat thermometer with the temperature in Fahrenheit and we're looking for about 170 degrees. So here we just stick the thermometer into the thigh of the bird, which is the thickest part of the meat. and make sure we don't hit the bone or in fact push it right through to the other side. We'll leave that in there for just a few seconds and we're climbing up to pretty
pretty close to the 170 degree mark, probably about 10 degrees off there. We'll give that another 20 minutes or so and that should be just about perfect. So after two and a half hours, there's our stuffed turkey ready for carving. There it is folks, our roast turkey done on the Heath Beads barbecue briquettes, all carved, plated and ready to be served.